This is an example of adding integer arrays together using SIMD. SIMD is implemented in the system.numerics library in .NET Core. SIMD allows us to do parallel instructions on a single core. The amount of parallel operations you can perform are dependent on your register size. My CPU has a 256-bit register, so it can do 8 32-bit calculations at once. The larger the register, the larger the calculations you can do at once. So if you had a 2048-bit register, then you could do 64 integers at the same time. In .NET, we can use a vector array to perform these calculations. Before you use vector, you should check if your hardware can actually implement SIMD. Since my register is 256 bits, my vector can also only hold 256 bits of data. This will allow us to do a different amount of operations depending on the data type that we use. With a byte, we could do 32 operations at once. With a short, we could do 16 operations at once. With an int, we can do 8 operations at once. With a float, we can do 8 operations at once. With a double, we'll only be able to do 4 operations at once, because a double is 64 bits. So in this example, we take in two arrays. First, we get the count of our vector, which is 8, because we're using a 256-bit register. Set up the length of a result array. Set up our temporary vectors. Then we loop through the array using the size of our vector. In this case, it's 8 because we can put 8 integers in our 256-bit register. And since there's 8 integers in both of the arrays that are passed in, we only go through the loop one time. Here we add all 8 integers together at once and then copy them to our resulting array at the index 0. And here are the results of our arrays added together. If we had an array that did not evenly fit into our register, then we would have to loop through the remaining integers the regular way. Here's the populated array 0 through 7 that is passed into the SIMD function. And here's the output of our arrays from integer 0 to 7 added together. And we now have 0 through 14 as expected. Also, we can see here that our hardware does support SIMD. When testing performance, my results varied.